And these aphids have no idea what's about to hit them. Guten gardening, everybody. You know, one of the challenges with bringing your plants indoors from outside is there's always the possibility that you're going to bring in some pests with you. Now, no matter how much you try to clean, it's really hard to get everything taken care of to the point where you're 100% guaranteed you're not going to have a problem. Now, I don't know if it was our Meyer lemon plant or our papayas. I'm not sure what it was that brought them inside, but we found out just a couple of days ago that we brought aphids into our indoor garden. Now, this is something that's happened each year for the last two years, the last two seasons that we've been indoor gardening, we've found aphids coming in. And we've tried our best to stop that from happening before it even starts, but now that they're here, what we know about aphids are that they multiply so quickly and they can definitely have a bad effect, especially as they start to invade you. They can have a really bad effect on the vitality of your plants. Now we don't want this to spread through our entire grow space and so we're going to use one of our favorite tools at stopping these aphids. We're going to release some ladybugs or ladybirds depending on where you're from into our indoor growing space. And this season we're also adding another insect to our fight. When we brought our lemon plant in it had two lemons on it and we picked those off but it did not appreciate the transition indoors from outdoors and all the leaves, all of the leaves fell off. And now it's coming back to life and you know, things are starting to even get some blooms on here again. But there's something else that came along with it because even though we tried really hard to get this nice and clean before we brought it in, when we brought it in, we didn't do a good enough job. And you can see we've got aphids on here. And actually, I don't even know that they came in on this plant necessarily, but we first saw the aphids on a couple of our papaya little plants and you know where there are some aphids they're going to spread so we've got some ladybugs in here and they've been in the refrigerator to keep them alive and in hibernation and they're just now starting to warm up you can see the movement beginning in here as they start to warm up here they're going to start feeding and they start feeding so quickly now these ladybugs have only been out of the refrigerator for about five minutes and you can see there's so much life in here so much aphid killing powder i'll show you what it looks like inside once i've opened this up but first what we found is that the ladybugs stick around where there's food where there's food and where there's water now we've actually done a couple of videos on releasing ladybugs before and i'm going to put links to those videos in our description below i want to show you though the life cycle of a ladybug we did a youtube shorts video on the life cycle of a ladybug. And for those of you who have never done anything with ladybugs, my guess is you probably don't know what they look like at each stage, like when they look like aliens. And I'm 100% serious with this. Check out the life cycle of a ladybug. So where there's food and where there's water, the ladybugs will stick around for a longer period of time. And because we're indoors, they don't really have anywhere to go. We have a door shut right here. And so they can't get out to the rest of our house. I know that's a concern that a lot of people have asked us about in the past. And we've released probably three or 4,000 ladybugs over the last couple of years, and they've never gotten out into our main house. What they're looking for is a place that they can stay, be comfortable, and have plenty to eat. Based on what I'm seeing here, they have plenty to eat with these aphids. And Nature's Good Guys, where we got these ladybugs, gave us a nectar that we could use to mix in with some water and spray on top of the foliage as well to attract the ladybugs to where we want them to go. And I'm gonna take this and mix this with one quart of water and spray it all over our foliage because there's the possibility that they could be anywhere in here 
once they get started. But I'm gonna take just some water and spray these a little bit because they're gonna be thirsty coming out of hibernation. Get the outside of this bag nice and wet. Let them drink a little bit before I release them. Make their lives a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this nectar all over our foliage. Get this ready for our ladybugs. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut open the bag of the ladybugs here. And we'll take a look down inside. All right, take a look at the top. As soon as I open this up, they were ready to come out. Let's see if we can get a look right down inside. I'll open this just like so. I tell you what, my daughters do not mind <laughs> these ladybugs one bit. I'll take a look right down in here. See them all moving around, see all the life. There are a couple of them that didn't quite make it, it looks like in shipping, but most of them did. There we go, look at that. Look at the power we've got in these bugs. They're ready to start eating, crawling all over my hands. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them out right inside here. Just gonna let that sit right on the edge, just like so. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a couple of them off on the leaves right here. All right, I just dropped this ladybug off at dinner. It says it's got plenty of food here. <laughs> it's, it's finding its way around. It's looking around trying to decide what to eat first. There's something really cool about this initial release as well. Watching them head out there, you know, knowing that there's pretty soon here within a couple of days, we're gonna see an absolute decimation of everything that we have here, all these aphids. Really, a lot of the soft belly pests that are out there, these ladybugs just go to town feeding on. And again, you, uh, you know, what I found is that sometimes you don't think they're doing anything for a little bit of time, and then you come back out and you find the aphids are just gone. Just woken up from its dormant state, looking around, trying to understand what life's all about. And these aphids have no idea what's about to hit them. Now it's gonna take them all a while to get out of here. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. I'm gonna set this off to the side, kind of at a downward angle. You can see they're crawling out down inside the pot here. I'll move it around to different areas as well during this release. So when they can make their way around pretty easily, they can fly as well as you know. And one of the things we've done in the past too is we've tried to create a space for them to stick around, some honey, uh, some water. When it comes to watering them, we don't just leave open water everywhere because they'll drown. What we do instead is we damp a paper towel inside of a little tray and keep that water so they have something that they can rest on while they're drinking. But this time we also have a habitat that we hope will be a nice home for these ladybugs. Let me show you what we got. This is the insect hotel that we bought as a nice little insect shelter. We can either hang it up, we can just place it in here. And how cool is this? This is what it looks like. A nice little place of shelter for them. It's got a hook on the back. That's how we could hang it up if we want to hang it up. But for now, I'm just going to set it right beside our plant and see how these ladybugs do if they start to show some interest in here. This has only been down here for a couple of minutes, but I can already see the ladybugs are starting to explore. We're going to see what this looks like when I come back in a couple of hours. Oh, yep. <laughs> this is their new home. All right, I'm gonna interrupt this video very briefly to do our 19th giveaway in our 31 days of Guten Gardening, gardening gift giving. Once again, over 90 people entered into today's giveaway. Remember, if you wanna be entered into the next giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video or on one of our community posts between now and the next video, and you'll be entered in to win. Let's go ahead and see what today's prize is. Well, today's gift prize is a $25 Amazon gift card. It's an e-gift card. It'll go right to your email. This should be pretty straightforward. You can pick anything that you want using that $25. All right, let's go ahead and see who day number 19's winner is. Remember, we've still got 12 more winners left to go. Our winner today is... Gert Walmerans. I hope I said your name correctly, Gert. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being a part of our community. Go ahead and say congratulations to Gert in the comments. And Gert, when you see you've won this prize, go ahead and leave a comment and we'll be in touch so we can get that contact information from you and get this sent out as quickly as possible. Congratulations once again. Let's go ahead and get back to our video. Now a second garden helper that we're bringing in, and I'm only going to briefly show you this because I want to do more content on it later when they've hatched, 
But these are our green lace wings. Now the lace wings are actually eggs and you can see them, the little tiny eggs off to the edges here. And it's gonna take a little while before they develop into the amazing machines, aphid killing machines that we have here. You see those little eggs right down along the sides? They're kind of green in color. They're so tiny, it's really hard to see. So here's how we're gonna do this. Nature's Good Guys sent us a couple of these containers and this is what we're supposed to put the eggs in. So we'll put some in each of these containers. They gave us like four or five of these, maybe a half a dozen or so. I'll put some of these in. I'm just gonna dump some of this mix in each of these. So you see this little hole at the top? That's for us to be able to hang onto a branch and then they can be released at different places in our garden as well. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna empty some of our lacewing eggs into each of these containers and hang them at various spots. Now that I've opened it up, you can see the eggs a lot more easily. You see all those eggs in there? Those are gonna turn into some of those really nice green fighting machines. We've got about a thousand of those eggs in here. So I'm gonna put some of the mix in here, some of the, the husks in here and I'm going to make sure I get some of the eggs in as well. Well it looks like our ladybugs are getting settled into their new home. We've got a whole bunch more coming for you this winter and these aphids they have a whole lot of natural pest control coming their way in the very near future. Well we again hope you enjoyed today's video. Congratulations once again to our winner. If you did enjoy today's video don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.